The next fringe benefit, very important, very popular, and this is where your employer pays your medical aid. So you belong to Discovery Health, and every month you have to pay 2,000 rands to belong to them. If your employer pays any part of that, that is a fringe benefit for you that you will be taxed on. Okay, then important, there will be no value, so no value if it was to an employee that has retired due to superannuation, ill health or infirmity. So I turn 65, I decide to re I'm too old to work, I retire, and now the employer, my old employer still pays my fringe benefit. There's no value. All right? Let's say I worked in a factory and I died in an accident in the factory and now the employer is paying for my uh, dependence. There will be no value. Right. Um, and that's basically the same for both of those. Now, so every month your employer pays that amount and it gets it's a fringe benefit for you for the medical aid. What is important for you to see is here at the bottom is that for purposes of Section 6A, can you remember that, the medical credit rebate, you are still treated as if you paid it yourself, so you can use that when you are calculating your medical credit rebate. Our next paragraph 12B this is now where your employer pays for your medical costs, but not medical aid. So instead of paying for my medical aid, the employer pays for me for medicine or to go and see a doctor or a dentist. Right, so what will be included in my fringe benefit? The costs by the employer will be included. Then, there will be no value though if the following happens. If it is a treatment that the Minister of Health has prescribed as a minimum benefit to employees, so there are certain antiretroviral um, requirements now, or if you work in a mine, the Minister of Health might prescribe that every week there needs to be a check on your lungs, whatever the case might be. Those things, if it's prescribed by law, there's no fringe benefit. Right. If it's to comply with the laws of the Republic, no fringe benefit. There will also be no fringe benefit if the, it is to a person that has retired due to old age or to the dependence of a person who's died. Right, that we've seen. And then important guys here at the bottom, to a person who is 65 years or older. So in other words, to a person who is entitled to a secondary rebate. So if you, give, if you pay a 55-year-old's doctor's visit, there is a fringe benefit. But if you pay a 65-year-old's doctor's visit, there is no fringe benefit. Be aware of that one. And then any service which is rendered to enable the employees to better perform their duties. So you get a doctor to come out to give people medical checkups at work that will uh, maybe a vitamin B injection to get them to perform better. Right. Then benefits in respect of insurance policies. Very, very simple guys. If your employer pays your insurance premiums, then that amount that the employer pays will be included as a cash equivalent. And there is no exceptions to that rule.